Yeah, here's a here's a pretty easy, simple test to test this evaporative emission control system, uh, the charcoal canister, which sits up in the front of the front of the front bumper up here on the driver's side. Uh, what I had to do is I had to take I had to take it out. I couldn't get to all these little hoses and everything, and get my vacuum gauges on there and etc. But it's not that hard to take out. It just has has one bolt that holds this bracket together. Uh, this is the charcoal canister. This is the purge valve solenoid. Uh, if three hoses go into the top of this charcoal canister, this particular line right here goes back all the way back to the gas tank. Uh, vent tube. This is your it's your purge valve on the top. sits on top of the canister. It has an upper and a lower hose. Um, and what you want to do is pull this bottom hose off. Pull the bottom hose off right here. Attach a short length of hose to this bottom nipple. Uh, that you would be able to blow through. You want to blow through that hose and, and uh, you should get a significant amount of resistance. You should not be able to blow through it. Uh, depending on your system you might be able to blow a little bit of air through it. Uh, but that's your that's your first step. Take this hose off, take the bottom hose off this purge valve. Attach another short piece of hose to it to this nipple and try to blow through it. You should get resistance. You know, after you do that, reconnect the hose back up, take the top hose off the top nipple of the purge valve, and then what you want to do is you want to connect up a small, a short hose to a, your vacuum pump, which again, I got this at Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks or so. What you want to do is just pump uh, 15 inches of pressure or 15 inches of vacuum, excuse me, uh, that should hold that vacuum, that should hold 15 inches of vacuum for 20 seconds. Uh, if it does not hold, then you've got a leaky canister and you'll have to replace it. There's no, there's no other option, there's no way to fix it. But if it'll hold for 20 seconds, which I've already ran the test, it, it holds but then what you need to do while it's holding that vacuum is you want to remove the bottom hose again and then try to blow through it again and you should be able to blow through it very easily. But the problem with this uh, this can cause a rough, rough or unstable idle. Uh, this is according to factory service manual 6284 